this is a Newton's third law um, lab. So first part, you might want to revisit to Newton's third law. We briefly talk about it in the class. Um, read through the instruction and also please do the preliminary questions before even further into the lab. There's the equipment that we need to use, the brown uh, base plate, the anchor, and rubber band and also as you can see on the base plate there's three different newton meter uh, from blue to green to brown the color does matter because blue actually are from zero newton to 2.5 newton green is from zero to five then the brown one is from zero to 10 newton so now i'm gonna do a demonstration how this lab gonna work so first place the base plate on a flat surface and then i'm gonna insert the wooden um, anchor on the base plate then i need two anchor actually and it says three empty slots between each of them then place a rubber band in the middle so now you can see actually the rubber band is slightly stretched then i am actually going to use the blue one since the blue newton meter is from 0 to 2.5 the next thing you need to do is connect the newton meter to the rubber band at the end of the rubber band then i am going to pull it horizontally and just be careful that you want your newton reading on the top then i'm going to pull it horizontally so that way there is no angle there so we don't even need to consider x and y since it's horizontal anything there is my horizontal x-axis so first you want to read through the data table and the first demonstration I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the Newton meter to pull it to the fifth slot. What does that mean is one, two, three, four, five. So the fifth slot and you look at your Newton meter, try to be stable with it. Um, and record down the data you need later on i will post the data that i have in the teams so you can see that so now we're still at the fifth slot i can keep pulling it horizontally to make sure that the rubber band stretched the sixth slot as you can see now my newton meter is actually closer to almost 2.5 newton meter newton now, if I'm gonna keep trying, pull to this next one, but now you see it's overstretched, which that means this is a time I might want to change to the other one, since this is zero to 2.5. So next one I probably want to try is using a green Newton meter. Same procedure. Point it horizontally. So now we're at fifth, six, seven, now you can see, keep going to the 8th, 9th, and 10th. Then we pretty much overstretch this one too. So now that's another time we need to move up to another reading using a brown Newton meter. So now we are moving to the second part as you fill in, as we fill in up the data table one. Um, now we're going into data table two. Now you do need a two, same Newton meter and connect it on the both side and see how that's gonna affect or what kind of reading you will get from the equipment. So I'm gonna hook this to one side and now this is the time actually I can remove the anchor and make sure the Newton meter reading is on the top. And one connecting to the other side. So still pull it horizontally on both sides and make sure we're doing the same stretch. And as you can tell from the reading on both Newton meter, when it's closer to five slots between, as similar what we did in the data table one, and you can tell both Newton meter actually has the same reading right now. So that's partially our Newton's third law experiment. Let me know if you have any more questions. I will post the data table later in Teams so you can see the experiment I did.